from Justin to Kelly, this is a very bad movie. This was a movie that was made out of a contractual obligation. Uh, Justin and Kelly, the eponymous actor characters in this movie, were both uh, the finalist and semi-finalist for the first American Idol. Um, so part of their thing is that they got a free, or whatever, they got they got a record deal out of it. Um, apparently part of that contract also included this movie that they were producing that starred the two, like, faces of the show. And that was a bad decision because they are singers and not actors. They were trying to mitigate that by making this a musical, but it turns out in a musical you still need to be able to act. And they didn't. They could not act. And this is a really bad movie. Essentially, this is a spring break movie about two, I guess, teenagers. They don't look like teenagers to me. Whatever. Uh, they're going on spring break, and uh, they have them and their group of friends, respectively, and they are trying to do something, I don't know, have fun or hook up with someone or something. The thing is, for spring break and for these characters, this is a pretty PG-rated spring break. Uh, they try to be raunchy-ish, but raunchy in the most G way possible, uh, which is just weird. It creates a really weird tone in this movie. Um, so Kelly is playing a really boring character, I guess, that isn't wild or parties or, or something. And then Justin and his friends do party. They do party good or something. Whatever. Um... So they meet at some point and then continue to meet and then lose each other's numbers and whatever. Uh, one of Kelly's friends is really, really sinister and conniving and is constantly scheming to keep them from getting together like friends do, apparently. Um, but really, there's some subplots that don't make sense and don't matter uh, with their friends that nobody could possibly care about. I mean, the thing is, there's nothing. Why am I watching this movie? Like... It's a spring break movie about teenagers that don't actually have problems. It's about their not problems uh, of trying to find a cool date for spring break or whatever. So, I don't know. It's just, the music is not good. It's definitely a creature of its time. It sounds like a really bad pop soundtrack from whatever year this was, like 2003 maybe? I don't know. I just had trouble sitting through this movie because the acting was so bad. Like, this is really a budget-made movie that was not... You could tell this is a contractual obligation movie for the singers. Like, they did not seem comfortable being actors in this movie. Uh, and all their other actors were also really bad. So, this was just... It was a cash grab. That's all this movie was, to try and cash in on American Idol. And it did not work. Uh, at least not initially. I It might have made money since then. I sure hope not. But uh, apparently they did a theatrical release and then wanted to almost immediately release it on DVD. And there was some argument among the production and distribution companies. And then once it flopped horribly in the theater, they just released it immediately on DVD. And it might have made money on DVD because that's really where they wanted to go with it was the home video market, it sounds like. But uh, yeah, man, this is a flashback to like when people cared about American Idol. I hope it's not still a thing. I don't know. But it was really, really hard. I remember this when I was pretty young, this all American Idol thing, and I did not get it. Uh, so I don't remember this movie coming out, though. Uh, probably because it wasn't in theaters very long, and I did not care. So, I don't know, maybe you have people that have fond memories of this. I, sh I, I don't see how you could unless you were a really small child and just liked noises or something. Um, the songs aren't particularly memorable or anything, which is also, you don't want your musicals to have good music and stuff. Which, you know, when you don't, then your musical's already a failure, I think. So, yeah. Uh, so the characters are unlikable, their motivations don't make sense, they're constantly being torn apart by the most, like, amateur of, like, deceptions, and they don't trust each other to talk to each other ever. So they just are, they're just so dumb, I guess is what it comes down to. They're so easily manipulated and have no trust in each other about anything. So, yeah, it's bad. It's really bad, and you just can't care. It's so hard to care through this movie. And then all the subplots is like, let's let's not do all these subplots, please. Um, uh, gosh, it was. I'm a. Uh, I, I'm really hoping it didn't make money. I didn't read into that whether it made money or not. 
but it really is an embarrassingly bad showcase of things. Um, I'm hoping that this has taught a lesson to people that make, like, things like that. I don't think they've ever done this again uh, in future American Idol things. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't like this movie at all. And I think that's a pretty universal failing. This was pretty heavily panned at the time and still is. It doesn't have the same, like, entertainment level of a lot of bad movies, but it's still remembered in pop culture as being a super bad movie. Uh, just in quality, but there's not really any good bad aspects of it, so I don't recommend it. But, uh, unless you are just one of those people that really likes bad musicals, I guess, then this is for you. Um, uh, but even then, I would say go find another bad musical. There's other bad musicals out there that are bound to be better than this. But, uh, yeah, whatever. From Justin to Kelly, it's... I'll try to find clips of something. The fashion is really bad and will take you back to a much worse time. Uh, everything is bad. Everything is literally terrible in this movie. But the production value is good. And all the stuff behind it seems to be pretty competent for the most part. This doesn't have, like, crappy shots for the most part. It is just straight, straight flying with this one. Uh, but it's everything in front of the camera that's the problem. Um, like, the acting and the... I mean, the writing wasn't great either, but I feel like if they actually had actors in this movie, it might have been passable. It's just like a teen movie. But as it is, it sure isn't. Not at all. On June 13th. Come up to Miami. It's not my thing. Music will bring two strangers together. Hey, they go from the beach. And nothing can come between them. I'm going to ask her out again. Except all their friends. So what does this girl need to do to get you? There are a million hot girls here, and you're still talking about the one girl who blew you off. Kelly Clarkson. I should take a chance. Justin Carini. This girl is special. In the musical event of the summer. Justin to Kelly, rated PG, June 13th, only in theaters.